Hello, beer drinkers. I'm Bobby Covina. And I'm Professor Bill, and this is the, the West Coast, Coast Beer Cast. Cast. So tonight we have lagers, which are the most consumed beer in the world. Yeah. If you look at the chart that I'm putting on right in front of you now, you'll see that it's half the beer, but it's pretty much all the beer. A lot of the beer, like 90% of, the beer. of it's consumed. Yeah. Yeah. So let's jump right into it. First up, we have Samuel Adams Boston Lager. Always a good choice. Apparently. That'll be our staple number one. Staple number two, Heineken, brewed in Holland. Classic lager. Everything will yep. be up against this. Pretty much available everywhere. Right. Hoff Brown. This is one of the original lagers from uh, Munich. From Munich. So, or Munchen, if you just yeah, read this. Yeah, this is our German yeah. standard. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. After that? Hey, Attem we're going. Nah, that's the wrong accent. Hey. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't know where you're going no. with that. This is an Italian lager, and yes. actually quite tasty. I like it. No, no whatever. It's, it's Italian, it's so it's good. It's Baroni, huh? Yes. Yeah, Baroni. Yes. Yeah, it does. Then, from Italy to the West Coast, BJ's. The Blonde, this is a Kolsch style. Pretty standard. Yes, but it's a Blonde, which is nice. Yeah. Then we go away from the Blondes into the Ambers. This is the Carl Strauss Amber Lager. We've had good luck with Carl Strauss. They make some good craft beers, and um, I've never tried this. You ever tried this? No. All right. Looking forward to it. Should be good. After that, another Amber Lager. This is Old Scratch from Flying Dog out in Vermont. And those of you that have faithfully watched the old episodes will realize that uh, Flying Dog won the Pale Ale, right? Yeah. So I, we're going to see how they do with lagers. High hopes. This is their only lager, by the way. And then finally, our out of the box one, the Coney Island Albino Python, which is a white lager brewed with spices. I didn't even know there was a white lager, but but this is it. Yeah. So and Coney Island, clearly from New York. Yes. So we have some exciting news for you. Weldon is back for our history segment. We sent him away for six months on a glacier expedition or something. Yeah. So here we go. Enjoy the history. Hello chaps, Weldon here, and I'm back from my glacier expedition in Iceland, courtesy of West Coast Beer Cast. Lager is a bottom fermented beer that is fermented and conditioned at low temperatures. There are many varieties of lagers, including Bach, Marzen, Vienna, dark lagers such as Dunkel and Doppelbach, and Pilsner Pale Lager, which is the most widely consumed style of beer in the world. Pale Lager is very pale to golden colored with a whale attenuated body and noble hop bitterness. The brewing process for this beer developed in the mid 19th century when Gabriel Sedemeyer took pale ale brewing techniques back to the Spaten Brewing Company in Germany and applied it to existing lagering brewing methods. This approach was picked up by other brewers, most notably Joseph Grohl, who produced Pilsner Urquell. The main elements of the lagering method used by Settlemeyer and Grohl are still used today and depend on a slow-acting yeast that ferments at low temperatures while being stored. Indeed, the German term lager means storage. All right. So up first, Sam Adams. This is the original lager, just Boston lager, just. It smells nice and malty, typical lager. I got to enjoy Sam Adams across the street from where Sam Adams is buried in Boston. Pretty cool. Wow, that yeah. is cool. Wow, sweet. Sweeter than I remember. Much sweeter than I remember. Yeah, they definitely use real malts instead of uh, rice and corn maize or whatever. Yeah. Whatever you use. Yeah, in fact, in almost every single Boston pub, they had lots and lots of sand. Yeah, I imagine in oh. Boston, it's Red Sox and Samuel Adams, that's what you're going to get. Yeah. Wow. I, I know why they coined that term, always a good choice. I mean, this would yeah. pretty much, it's a sure bet. Solid. Yeah. It's not a ton of flavor, but... Definitely drinkable. Yeah. Sweet, malty. Go great with the burger. And yeah. Like a nice Angus burger or something. That's oh, yeah. Cool. So we're cleansing our palates tonight with uh, some sourdough bread from Boudin. Shout out to Andy and Nicole that brought it down. Very cool. Fans of the beer cast. Heineken, number two, from Ooh. Holland. Kind of skunky smell, huh? A little bit, yeah. 
I was gonna say it kind of smells more like urine. Yeah. Um, well, colors hardly existent. I don't, I don't, really mellow yeah. color. You can see right through and see Bobby K. A little bit fizzy and yellow. Looks like that U2 video, right, Mysterious Ways. Not much flavor at all. Not nearly compared to, no. Oh. No. The Sam's Very clearly a... Very malt. It's a, like... Yeah. Just got a little bitterness at the end, but... I don't get, like, anything up front. It's nope. just that trailing light bit of hoppiness, but almost not noticeable. You get a little bit right up front on the lips. Almost tart. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've had orange juice that's more flavorful than this. Yeah. No nose. If you just don't want, don't like the taste of beer at all, but you just want to say I'm drinking a beer, yeah. then that's what I would... Up third, the Hofbrau. Hey, Hofbrau from Germany. Mm -hmm. This is brewed according to German purity laws. No smell at all, hardly. No. Hardly more color than a Heineken. Not really tasting anything. No. Tastes like huh? carbonated water. I'm getting a little more. If you let it, if you let it linger, uh -huh. you can taste that hop. The hoppiness kind of comes out. It's like a delayed hoppiness. Yeah, there yeah, it is. In the back of your, you get it. Yeah, I could see that if it wasn't safe to drink water, you would have this. Definitely more flavorful than the Heineken, I'd say. You know, it's still on the back not, end. Yeah. yeah, it's got that real clean up front, but I, I like the aftertaste. You know, it's pleasant. Gives you a little bit of flavor, but it's not that like kind of. Yeah, a, it reminds me more of an island lager. Yeah, refreshing. I mean, this thing like really chilled, like, like almost frozen. Yeah, like you mow the on lawn and then day. enjoy it. It's be great. Not for a did win tonight like tonight and you gotta respect this is like where it came from I mean this is when they yeah. started like in the 1840s they started changing the whole process about the yeah really like, should have yeah so so fourth on the list this is Peroni yes the yeah. Italian lager it's a Peroni it's a Peroni a Peroni the Pepperoni sorry Not much of a nose. No. Ah, yeah. I can taste that Italian zest. Yeah. It's, you know. Definitely different. Uh, tangy. Yes. It tastes more carbonated. This is a refreshing beer I could get behind. It's a little it's a little bitter, but in a good way. You know, it's got just yeah. enough, just a, a soft bitterness. I mean, it's so mellow. And for me, all augers are just quite mellow. I love this when I'm sitting down to a nice Italian dinner yeah. but I don't feel like wine mm -hmm. and you're like I want to drink before dinner this is the beer to have yeah. it's great it's yeah cool. Peroni Moretti is another one Moretti Dark is a great and one you're dipping that fresh baked Italian bread in the olive oil yeah yeah vinegar. this pairs so well with oh, it that's great this is good it's so All subtly right. different from the other two but it, I really like it more now we're to the brew house blonde yes Excuse BJ's you. Interesting. West Coast Brewery. Cloudy. It almost looks Definitely. like a looks unfiltered. fish tank water that when it's like, whoa, I should have changed the fish tank water like <laughs> all of my fish ago. tanks growing up. <laughs> and the fish are like the Yeah. Sweet nose. Mm. Banana runs. Mm. Yeah. Banana. But kinda weird, like oops. I dropped my banana runts inside of the BJ's Blonde. No, it's bat. a good banana. They're, they're using the banana flavor in a lot of stuff, like hefts and stuff. It's good. Yeah, but I don't know. It's weird. It's not overly. It's just a, a hint of yeah. it. But see, so yeah, definitely more flavor, a little more complex than anything else we've tasted yes. so far. Yes, yeah. So it's kind of like moving up the food chain of the lagers. But, um I like it a lot more than I thought I would. I've had this before and been just disappointed. That's good. The lager is light, refreshing, delicious. Wow. And there's a lot of, I mean, the, the taste changes kind of at the end. 
gives you a nice little finish. That's yeah. You gotta wait, let it kick in. Wait for it. Nice, pleasant. All right, beer number six. This is the Carl Strass Amber Lager. Our first amber. Much, much darker color. I'd say kind of amber in color. Would you agree, Bobby K? Maybe that's why it's called an amber. Yeah. I, I love that color. That's yeah, a, one it's of the beautiful. best colored beers I've seen. Reminds me of um, wow. the amber from Jurassic Park, where they're explaining how they recreated the dinosaurs. Yeah. It looks like it's just sap. And just the right amount of carbonation. You see that? It's beautiful. Wow. wow. Ooh. Just look at it. Smell that. Complex nose. Whoa. Lager. Caramel. Malt. Crazy malt. Yeah. All kinds oh. of malt. Reminds me when I used to make milkshakes and add the malted milk in it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. I should make this a cologne. That is a great like, smelling beer. People would think you gotta that smell this you drink. Oh, my beer. gosh. Right, I don't even know. need to drink it. Wow. That's good. For a malty beer, usually when they're that malty, they're just overly sweet, but yeah. they really balance the Yeah, smell. no, it's not sweet at all. Dang. Wow. Carl Strauss is just hitting, like, not home runs, but like triples consistently. Consistently. Good beers. Well, yeah. Solid. Yeah. Wow, this is great. Flying Dog? Old Scratch. Amber Lager, another amber. Even darker in color? And Flying Dog Gorgeous. wins hands down for their, their labels. Oh, Man, my gosh. Just awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They have a famous artist that does all their labels. Yeah. He's created it on their website. My nose is kind of burnt out here. I I'm not getting much of a nose. Yeah. Wow. Good. It's like a it's got like a burnt toasted malt to it. I'm huh? getting some fruit up front. Definitely aggressive up front and then it just kind yeah. of flat. It's got out. that hops and then and then that toasty malt. Not a Sweet malt, but that toasted malt, mm -hmm. roasted malt. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. roasted malt. Toasted. Sorry. That's because it's toasted, number seven. Toasted and roasted. Um, I'm toasted. This is roasted. Yeah. <laughs> when it <laughs> dies, it'll be ghosted. <laughs> the rhyming joke. It's good. I don't think I like it as much as Carl Strauss, but it's it, it's, it's uh, good. It's, it's a richer beer. You know, it's it's like... You drink a glass, you know, one of them. I wouldn't drink like a three yeah. or four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely enjoyable. I like it. It's more complex, but I don't know. I like the malt in the last tasting. Mm. Rounding it out, we have the Coney Island White Lager. Albino Python. Albino. That's a great name. Yeah, because it's white. It's a white lager. Um, to me, it looks more golden. Slight. It looks unfiltered. Mm -hmm. It's definitely stuff moving around in there. Yikes! Whoa. What the heck is that? What is that? Whoa! It does not smell like beer. No. Whatever it is. This is the with spices part. This is like, yes. Whoa! It That's smells crazy. like something that I can't. What is that? Right now. What it's is something that? Something that I've smelled before, but it's not beer. No. It's like potpourri. It's like some old candy. Yes. Wow! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. definitely, this is definitely out of the box. <laughs> it, oh. You know what? I bet it's got bits of real albino python in there. That's what's I'm tasting. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I had some albino python, that's what I remember. Whoa, tasting. heavy on the anise. That's what the spice is. Totally <laughs> yes. licorice. I was going to say, that's it's what I was trying to It's good and plenty, but you would never put licorice in the beer. That's right. what it is. There's anise. There's some real good and plenty. In this is mix. good and plenty in beer form. Whoa. Yes. Now I can't get that out of my mind. Right? Good and plenty. That's all I can taste now. Um, and I don't like anise at it's all. It's like candy beer. This no. is licorice candy beer. This is liquid licorice. I mean, sometimes licorice. they do the licorice with like the darker beers. Yeah, like yeah. Or, like, Never as a lager. It's beyond overpowered. Yeah, if you love licorice, this would be... Awesome. If you need to try something different, then you just grab the python because you will not be disappointed. So now it's time for the Professor Bill rundown, which right. means I get to shut up. No, you can 
No, it's yeah, a professional off rundown. It. Go. Um, so up first, we have Sam Adams, Boston Lager. It's a staple. That's it. That's it? Always a good choice. All right. All right. After that, Heineken. <clears throat> Interesting nose. Some audience members like the nose, but that's about as far as it goes. Tastes like what comes out of a hose. <laughs> as far as I goes. <laughs> hey, the Hofbrau! Number three. Uh, just not good. I not, liked it. Not memorable. It wasn't bad, but I don't know. It tasted like, you know, like carbonated water. Which is delicious. I enjoy that, but... A little more flavor than the Heineken, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just really mellow. After that, yeah, the Barone, yeah? Um, ah. That's where I think we started getting some good beers. It was, it was... Uh, Clean and crisp with a little bit of a hoppy bitterness. A little bit of a zest, huh? Yeah, it was Zest, it was that's it. Zest. zest. Thank you. Back to the West Coast. BJ's Blonde. Brewhouse Blonde. Brewhouse Blonde. It was good. Definitely maltier, tastier than the other ones, but... Yeah, nice finish on that one. Um, then over to the Carl Strauss Amber Lager. Oh, that was good. Double really thumbs up, man. That was super malty, but not sweet malty. Excellent. Well balanced. Yeah. 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 Just you could smell it all day long. Refreshing so, and flavorful at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Flying Dog, Old Scratch Amber Lager. That was another great one. Mm -hmm. um, when you AB them, I actually like the the Strauss a little bit better. Yeah, definitely. I like the malt. Is it was just solid throughout. But I really like malt, and I don't get a lot of malt these days. Yeah. So, yeah, I really like that. And then finally, the Coney Island. If you like anise, do you like this beer? If you don't like... Good and plenty. Yeah. If you don't like black licorice, then you won't like this beer. Okay, now it's time for the Professor Bill Pick, Pick of, the of the Week. week. So what's it going to be? It's going to be the Carl Strauss ah, Amber Lager. I knew it! It was so good. So let's go ahead and get that thing in the uh, Pick of the Week box. Fantastic. It was malty. It was delicious. It's beautiful. Amazing color. Just the smell is fantastic. It's it's so, so good. We gotta get it. We gotta go down to Carl Strauss. And yeah, do we do. They have food pairings. Yeah, they have all sorts oh, of great man, stuff. It's great. So, yeah. Make so, it our audience actually enjoyed that so much. That's already gone. So, I will actually be enjoying the rest of the BJ's Blonde. Because the pick of the week's gone. I will be enjoying a. Peroni! Hey, Peroni! Hey, 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 yeah, that's yeah, that's good! That's good yeah, thing. You yeah. drink some Peroni. So uh, I am uh, freezing this frosty mug, and it's like 38 degrees now. Yeah, my hand's actually stuck to it right yeah, now. Yeah, it's okay. But you yeah. know what? I'm Bobby K. I'm Professor Bill saying, Now, now that's, that's a, a beer! beer.